Oh, hey, I'm just uh, here in the supply closet, chilling between classes. Um, you guys want to chill with me? Like, really chill? Like, liquid nitrogen chill. Negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. That's super chill. This isn't even music, it's just a pickle. I think it just soothes me. Let's go free some stuff in liquid ni nitrogen right now. Hi folks, thanks as always for watching Science with Mike. Today we're gonna to talk about liquid nitrogen. As I said, really, really cold. So we've got some safety precautions, really, really heat resistant gloves, and a special container called a doer. Because like I said just a little bit ago, this stuff is negative 196 degrees Celsius. Just for some context, the bottom of the temperature scale is minus 273 degrees Celsius. So this is some of the coldest stuff around. And so uh, just to show you, we've got this container that's got a double walled sort of glass. It's like a big old thermos, uh, except really sturdy. And there is some liquid nitrogen. Have you take a little peek in there? That's boiling in there. It sits right at its boiling temperature of really, really cold. Okay, so I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pour some into this bowl, and then we're gonna put a bunch of different stuff in there. Now this bowl is room temperature, so you're gonna see a little bit of it having to adjust its temperature. You really don't wanna trap this in your shoe or something. All right, let's try some stuff. How about this balloon, all right? Oh boy. Basically the pressure in there is going down to nothing as all the air in there is sort of condensing. Take the balloon out where it comes back to room temperature. And eventually it'll reinflate. Marvy. All right. Try some bubbles. I got a couple in there, but I used to be able to do this when I was a kid. That vapor pressure makes it levitate, but then the vapor's so cold, they'll just freeze solid, and then they'll finally crash into there. Okay, let's take some solid objects and freeze them and watch how brittle they get. Real careful. Here's some grapes. They were pretty much spoiled anyway. Try to grab some. Of course, I'm not even going to think about grabbing these bad boys with my hands. There we go. And now, oh boy. Oh, this guy split open. Oh, kind of anticlimactic, I guess. A theme of this show, a pickle. Now pickles are really salty. So their freezing point's going to be depressed. And so this is going to take, I bet, quite a bit more time to freeze. Right now it's been in there about two minutes, but I'm, going to, I'm thinking it's going to take a little longer than a grape to freeze. All right, let's see if he's done. He feels really solid.
Now you kind of split. <laughs> yeah, see, he's a little bit, it's a little bit liquid on the inside. Still, you can't shatter a pickle at room temperature. Only here on Science with Mike. Got a couple more things for you as I leave frame for the second time in this video. <laughs> Tennis ball. Nice and elastic. Till we put this one in liquid nitrogen. Let's do this one. Oof. Made a weird sound. Yeah, it doesn't want to sink, so I'll just kind of toss it around here. See how much it wants to bounce now. See if I could smash it. Probably not. Ooh. I put a dent in him. That felt good. Even though I didn't break him, he's crunchy. I want a second chance at that. <laughs> uh, it's not every day I get to play with this stuff. Not that I hate tennis. I have nothing against tennis. And if anything, tennis, all the fingers I got. <laughs> yeah, no, Mike, no. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna hurt myself. How about one of my old pay-as-you-go cell phones? You guys make fun of me for that usually. Well, one's going in some liquid nitrogen. Brick attack. <laughs> Brick attack, play. All right, uh, okay, let's just put it in there. Here it goes, folks. My old cell phone. I saved all my contacts, don't worry guys. Both of you. <laughs> oh, the screen went dark right next to the piece of pickle juice. Now that I think about it, there's a lithium battery in there, <laughs> but I guess it won't catch on fire because nothing's gonna catch on fire at negative 196 degrees Celsius. Oh, okay, it doesn't work anymore. I wanna hit it with a hammer, but you know what, we've done enough of that, enough violence for today. Some of the viewers make uh, suggestions, and so by request, a framed picture of Cary Grant. Here he goes. Oh! Is that picture frames toast? I saved the coolest thing for last. Next, we're going to talk about the Meisner effect, where a superconductor makes a field that is both attractive and repulsive, pinning a magnet in midair where it's kind of levitating there. First time I saw this, I almost cried. This is an alloy of yttrium, barium, copper, and oxygen. It's a superconducting little wafer. Once you get it below 90 Kelvin, remember liquid nitrogen 77 Kelvin, it will allow it to conduct with no resistance, which makes this funky field that will suspend the magnet. Now first we gotta do is carefully pour some liquid nitrogen into this Petri dish. Now watch. Darn. That's why I gotta use the plastic, Mike. If I put this right there, the wafer really doesn't care about it because it's not cold enough. But once it gets down to 90 Kelvins, it will produce that field that's called flux trapping, if you want to watch some other videos on it. It's going to take a little while. That's 
wanting to stand on like one of its corners now. See? Right there. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. And if I'm careful enough, I can spin it. That is so awesome. Look at that thing spinning. That is the coolest thing. And once it warms up, this effect will discontinue. Ah, right there. See? It'll stop doing it. All right, that's quite a bit of carnage caused by liquid nitrogen. And we got some left, and there's one surefire way to get rid of it. Thanks for watching Science with Mike. I could just let this stuff evaporate over the weekend, but that ain't fun. <laughs>